We're back at the 9mm Ammo Quest looking for the best defensive ammo from a 3 inch barrel pocket pistol like the SIG 938. And I've tested a lot of different types of ammo. This one is a little different for us. This is the Barnes TAC XPD. Comes in a fancy black shiny box with it has a little window in here and then when you pull the bullets out you can see that they're all, I don't know, painted black, whatever, however they're black. Um, it's expensive ammo. I think this box ran me 28 bucks in uh, mid-2014 pricing. Um, as far as I know, the same bullet is used by the Corbon DPX. And I tested the Corbon DPX, and it was an outstanding performer. So, I am equally optimistic that in Barnes' own loading, it will do the same. But... I have to say that in the Corbon version, it was rated at, I believe, 1,250 feet per second on the box. And right here on this box, it says 1,125. So these might be rated, um, these might be loaded a little softer than the Corbon version. Will that make a difference? Let's find out. We're using clear ballistic, synthetic ballistic gelatin today. And I'm going to try to get uh, a minimum of 12 inches of penetration, maximum of 18 inches. Those are the standards that we've been testing all the ammo and holding them all to. If it passes the bear gel test, then we put it through the denim test where it has to again meet 12 to 18 inches. So let's get to the range and find out how these Barnes bullets do. The Barnes bullets penetrated, well, a mixed bag. Three of them were absolutely consistent came in spot on 14 inches just exactly where we like to see them one of them was a little shorter at 13 inches but that's still great because that you know the minimum we're looking for is 12 so 13 i am not complaining but then one did go too far we had one that went all the way to 19 and a quarter inches and it looks like it didn't expand at all and that's that's not good. We've seen better performance for other rounds. Looking at the expanded bullets, oh man, so close. Three that are just perfection. Beautiful bullets, gigantic size for a 9mm. Uh, and then we had one that partially expanded. This one here, when I say partial, it's like it didn't finish. I don't know if you can see this from the angle but the pedals didn't fold fully back they didn't create quite the magnificent consistent star shape of the other three um, and then we had of course the elephant in the room did not expand failed over penetrated and ruled the round out the bullets look exactly like the corbon dpx's except for this black coating that they have on them so again they're the same weight and i have no doubt that they are the same bullet uh, they just did not perform quite as well from the three inch barrel as the DPX's did. So, you know, it, it's not the worst, even though this one failed to expand and did over penetrate, at least it didn't under penetrate, you know, it did still get there. So if you have these loaded in your gun, I, I, I don't say don't panic, you don't need to immediately get rid of them, but there are better choices out there that do perform more consistently from these little micro pistols. When they expanded, they look very much like the DPXs, but the problem is that one of them didn't expand at all and over-penetrated, and one of them sort of didn't expand. And because of that, I think that the velocity from that three inch barrel is just below the threshold where these need to reliably perform. So the uh, advice is simple. If you like this bullet and you want reliable performance from a four inch or larger gun, this was probably an excellent choice, but from a three inch barrel, there's just not enough there. So if you want to get this kind of, of bullet in a three inch barrel, I'd recommend going with the hotter Corbon DPX load. Same bullet, it's not black, but hey, it also costs a little bit less per box and it really delivers excellent terminal performance from a three inch barrel. Thanks for watching. And if you click the subscribe link, you'll be notified when new videos are posted and there are a lot of new videos coming. So, hey, stay tuned.